And now bring ourselves into a place of quiet contemplation. Feel the energy around you. Feel the feel of the energy that begins to build. And don't drift. Don't allow yourself to float yet. Find first your roots. Grounding into the earth. Feel the nurturing energy beneath you. As you begin to receive the breath. Draw the breath in and receive the breath. Feel the fabric of the breath. It is the wealth of life. Nurture it. Draw it. Receive it. Fill the lungs completely. Discover the deepest recesses of the lungs. Breathe. And when you exhale, when you exhale through the nostrils, allow that exhalation to take you on a journey. See how far it will take you. And at the end of that journey, rest before you receive the breath again. Find the depth. Allow yourself a sense of fulfillment. Breathe. And draw in from the energy beneath you in the earth, from the energy in the air, from the energy in the sky. Feel that space around the body, that aura, that magnetic field, and fill it with a sensation of warmth, with a sensation of stability, self confidence. All is well here. And as you continue to receive the breath, find your sukhasana, the comfortable cross-legged seat of the yogi, the yogini. The hands rest on the knees, palms up on the knees of your throat. Lengthening through the back body, raise the crown of the head, tuck the chin in. Be conscious and aware of the wind that blows within, filling the sails of your awareness, moving your ship towards a new and brighter horizon. We now find our space of center. All things here coming into balance, all things here coming into harmony. The male, the female, the right, the left, the in, the young. We journey inward and gather up all the fears, the anxieties, the stresses, and the issues of day-to-day -day life. We direct all these issues to leave the body. Visualize them as they float away from your mat, into the morning air like an almost forgotten mist. They have no relevance here. Upon completion of your practice this morning, you may pick these issues back up if you so choose, or perhaps not. Breathe. Atta Yoga Mu Shashanam. And now, let the practice of yoga begin. Drawing the palms of the hands together at the heart center, the prayer pose around Jala Mudra. We begin to communicate with the Gam. Providing the Gam with our vibration of creation and allowing the Gam to exchange as it begins to speak, as it begins to sing. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. And on the next inhale, we will begin creating a vibration repeating the sound of only three times. Inhale deeply. Release the hands to rest once again upon the knees, palms up, or a mudra of your choice. 
raise the crown of the head with the eyes closed and take a moment to experience the vibration of Om and hear the gong as it sings to your vibration of creation. Yama niyama sana, pranyama pranyahara raharana jana samari o shtalangani om. Such is the ashtanga, the sutra, the eight limb path of yoga, as set forth by the master, the tantra. Opening the eyes and lifting the gaze, find your horizon. All are welcome to come upon their mats to honor their practice of yoga. Please be mindful to breathe during the course of this practice this morning. Give yourself permission to practice pain free and never or always listen to the body. The body will tell you intuitively when you're doing something it does not want you to do. Excellent. Let's find length through the back body. Roll the shoulders onto the back. Make sure the crown of the head is raised. And begin to create a sensation of space. What we want to do is create space within the body. We want to explore the inner space. As a civilization, we know so much more about outer space than we do about inner space. So allow yourself through the entire course of the practice to take yourself inward. And remember, the perfect pose is the one that is built upon your mat. The perfect practice is the one that is created upon your mat. And now, as we visualize the body beginning to warm, as we start to create an image of warming up, of lengthening, and creating space within, we'll begin our practice by bringing ourselves up into a tabletop position. The hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips. Please be mindful during the course of your practice to breathe and inhale on the exertion and exhale on the relaxation. And remember that the relaxation and release of any pose is every bit as important as you engage. And when we find our tabletop, no one can realize that this is the strongest stable position the body can be in. The hips are square, the shoulders are square. It is said that you can hold the weight of an army on your back in this pose. Now take your focus to the back body. Take your focus to the spine. Feel the spine as it wants to flex, as it wants to move. Notice the natural curves in the spine and know that there is a highway that runs up the spine called the Shoshuna. And now we begin to warm that highway and we begin to flex with the cow and the cat flexation of the spine. With the inhale, raise the tailbone, soften into the belly, and melt the heart forward as you raise the head to the cow. Engage the abdominal muscles breathing into the lower back. Breathe 
feel the inner wind as it begins to fill the sails. And as she breathes, seek the quality of foundation through the palms of the hands. Walk the knees four to six inches behind the hips. And before you rise, remember to maintain a sensation of weightlessness. Allow the vibration of existence to draw you up towards the heavens. Fill the body with breath. Inhale, rise up, downward facing dog. Feel the energy flow. 